Hey, happy campers. Todd here, Great American RV Superstores. Today, we want to go over how to operate a slide out whenever it's not operating. All right, so the trick is bypassing this motor right here. So we're going to go over those steps. So if we're looking at our slide out from the outside and we look underneath and we see two gear tracks like this that are a below floor mount, which means that it, the frame is going to extend in below our floor and accessible through our storage compartment here. And we can see this long square tube and in the middle we see our motor and we see where our gear tracks go through. So from here, we can manually disengage this brake. A couple of things we want to be sure of before we start messing with this motor is we want to be certain that our 12 volts is good, which means that our batteries are actually charging or have a charge. If we're not certain, we want to plug into a shore power or run our generator, whatever we have accessible to make sure those batteries are charging. If you have a multimeter that you could put on your batteries and ensure that that voltage is good, that'd be the best way to check. Otherwise, if you have actual meter inside your unit that tells you what your voltage is, we want to go to that too. Some of these slide out systems can be very sensitive to that particular voltage. So we want to be 12 volts or over to ensure that it's working properly. Next thing you want to check is your 12 volt fuse panel and make sure that the fuse for this particular slide out is not blown out either. So from there, if we've tested all that, we can go over to our motor and grab this red and black wire, take the connections off of it, and we want to take the wire that's coming from the house, not going to the motor, coming from the house, hook our multimeter up to it, have somebody initiate that slide out button and see if we're actually getting voltage to the motor. If we've confirmed all this and the operation of the slide still isn't working, then we can move forward to this next step. As we look at this motor, it has a tag on it that says engaged, disengaged. This means that the brake is either engaged or disengaged. Right now, there's a lever that's pushed all the way this way, keeping the motor engaged on the brake. And if you push over here, there's a little flexible tab here that keeps that activator from pushing that way. As you can see in this video with a motor where the boot is removed, you have a better idea what you're looking at. So what we wanna do is actually push this tab, the flexible tab forward or towards the motor, I should say, and take your, your lever and push it in towards that tab, and you should feel it slide over, and both of those tabs will be locked in in the same place, so it'll feel like one solid tab. Uh, from there, we can take a crescent wrench or a pipe wrench, put it on our tube right here, and we can start to turn that slide out in manually it's a lot easier than actually having to push that slide out in. So that makes it a nice feature or workaround if this doesn't operate. You wanna make sure once your slide out is all the way in, you wanna take that, that lever and push it back towards engaged. This re-engages that brake and make sure that that slide out doesn't move when you're traveling down the road. Hopefully this video helped you get your slide out in or has given you the knowledge to be able to store in the bank in the event that this ever happens. Hopefully it doesn't, but that's why we put these videos out to help you because we understand these inconveniences happen when you're out camping and we're trying to help you get back on the road. So follow, like, subscribe, share, do all those fun things on Facebook and YouTube so you don't miss the next tip here at Great American RV Superstores where we bring the how-to to you.